Michaela Patterson Sewell, the 31 year old Tennessean. Without a doubt, if he is not in this game, Nashville is easily cruising in it. The true man of the match, Patterson Sewell. And let's remember that Patterson Sewell's you know, basically home, playing in front of his crowd. And First, the visitors. It is a lineup with seven outfield components under the age of 22. Patterson Sewell for Toronto FC, including this penalty kick save. Keep Especially Toronto. I mean, Toronto's gone on the road and produced some shocking results this season. They drew at top of the table FC Cincinnati. Well, and, and let's remember that Patterson Sewell's you know, basically home, playing in front of his crowd. And, um, you know, he's from Hendersonville product right now, and this is a place that he calls home. And he can come up with an absolute screamer tonight. It's the goalkeeper for Toronto, a team that has also defeated Charleston and a team that throttled Louisville. They have results against some of the USL's Eastern Conference cream of the crop. Plenty of space in front of him. It's a well whipped service met by Kubel and finally caught by Caleb Patterson Sewell. Here is what Nashville needs, a North Carolina loss or tie. That game should wrap up here in the next 15 or so minutes. And then a Nashville win. That was some really good defending by Telfer. Rapapa's very strong, and when he's facing goal and he's trying to get around you, Telfer had to really use all of his body and his momentum to stay under Rapapa. Allen, Allen Wynn chopped down to the box. And in the 21st minute, Nashville SC, a chance to go ahead from the spots. To take the penalty kick, the Californian Matt LaGrasa, a blue collar midfielder with a chance to send Nashville ahead in this vital game. Patterson Sewell taking his time, trying to ice LaGrasa. Missile. It's Matt LaGrasa. Save made. Rebound available, but cleared out. Patterson Sewell, the Tennessee, and a primal scream in Nashville's playoff dream on hold. He just read it. As a matter of fact, I think. Brianna Scurry in Absolutely. the Women's World Cup. Minus the Brandy Chastain after it celebration. However, excellent save by Patterson Sewell. He regrouped and made the save. Does result in the Coca-Cola corner kick. Just pounded away. And it, it takes a little bit of the pressure off. And so I think Nashville will get better once they hit the back of the net for the first time. I think we'll see a better Nashville team. Lonely striker up top and a shot over the win. One on one against Telfer. Cuts it to his left. It's Allen Win. Save made by Patterson Sewell. Full stretch. It's a Coca Cola corner kick for that So again, it's Win matched up. Chops onto his left foot. He strikes the ball. I think Patterson Sewell was leaning to his right. And he's gotten the result that they wanted in the Louisville versus North Carolina match. There is the final. She's been known to run scripted routines off set pieces. Instead, it's driven towards Patterson Sewell. Two fists easily out. Reinserted by Davis. Minza! Point blank save, Patterson Sewell. And you got lacrosse. Lacrosse plays a great ball in. Knocks it. Actually, that might have been Justin Davis that played that ball in. I believe that's Justin Davis off his left foot that plays it in. A great bending ball into Ropapa. They've run through some of the bottom teams now in the USL Eastern Conference down the stretch of this season. Get out of that rut. Doyle's in the area. Patterson Sewell with a fist to it. Davis. Lagrassa. Lagrassa. Calmer by donating through our website at Real Fans Wear Pink underneath the community tab. From Endo the whole time. And then here's the penalty. Patterson Sewell with a big save against LaGrasse to keep it knotted at zero. That's when you're ready. 
Turnover. It's Tucker Hume for Michael Reed. Reed! Save made again by Patterson Sewell. And here it is. Takes a touch to his left foot, sets it up and strikes, and it's right about chest height. And so for Patterson Sewell, it's a little bit easier of a save. If that ball had gone low, Patterson Sewell would have to. Reed. It's Michael Reed! Papa. To the right, Rapapa Mensa. Battered away by Patterson Sewell. Nashville knocking on the door, trying to break it down. Matt LaGrasa on his right foot! Parried away! Patterson Sewell in a different realm. Coca-Cola corner kick, number nine of the night for Nashville. But he has since trended away. Just one goal from the run of play in his last 18 appearances. Yes. However, let's remember what Brandon Allen does well. It puts his foot to the gas pedal. That was slightly deflected. Anderson Sewell caught it just before across the in line. That would have been a Nashville SC corner kick if he hadn't gotten there. He pulled the drawbridge up, Ronnie. Leaping is Washington. Charging in Davis. Top of the box, chance! Patterson Sewell up to the task again. And that, Spurning the header from Michael Reed. That, that's just a quality save. Look at the, the, the type of service was bent in a way to an on-running Michael Reed who gets a great piece of the ball, keeps it low. Patterson Sewell had to get down to his left really, really quickly, and he makes an enormous save yet again to keep Toronto at this point into the match. Washington has gotten around his defender. It's Washington deflected by Patterson Sewell again. It was Allen Wynn. LaGrasa having a go. Sprawling save from Patterson Sewell. The amazing difference of Patterson Sewell today. He's making saves. Here it is. This is a great strike by LaGrasa. From LaGrasa that served. And Patterson Sewell, that man right there, came up huge one more time in this match. Solely responsible for keeping his game, his team in this game. And you wonder, he may not be done. I suspect we'll have, with having four goals scored in this half, at least four minutes of additional time that will be added on. This game's not over, but... Sit in by Davis. Back post win! Patterson Sewell, the Tennessean, born in nearby Hendersonville. Without a doubt, if he is not in this game, Nashville is easily cruising in it. The true man of the match, Patterson Sewell. He's been relentless. Now, do not worry, Nashville fans. This time will be added on to the already five minutes of stoppage time especially because Patterson Sewell has just been booked for time wasting. So there's no way that referee Broadley will allow this to not go unpunished. He will be tick tocking on his watch, keeping up with the amount of time that's been used for the cramp. year old from Canada pushes Nashville's playoff quest to Saturday evening when FC Cincinnati will come to town. An absolute shocking night at First Tennessee Park.